Okay, let's uh, do some more Phantom Hourglass. If you're watching later, thanks for clicking as usual, and hope you're enjoying. I have made the layout better, so now we have a, uh, a view where the bottom screen is nice and big, and then we have the map. Not so tiny, but, you know, it's a good use of space, I think, because if I make the other screen too big, it gets blurry, so. I just kind of forgot that in the DS era, the bottom screen was primary a lot of the time, um, as opposed to the 3DS where the gameplay happens on the top screen mainly, so. I guess that was because the control scheme manually happened down here, so. Okay, uh, we're on this island, and... Hey, a new face. Welcome to Melita Island. Lots of island guys are fishing, but you'll still find many of us at work here. Have you seen the Northern Sea lately? That awful fog and that ghost ship, scary. It's better not to think of the Northwestern Sea or you'll get the shivers. Yeah, so trying to find a way to the north, because there's currently fog. I would, I would have done this last time, but I just didn't want to mess around with layouts live, so it's all right. Special delivery, watch out, incoming. This is a letter from Astrid. Hem. Ooh, I can't wait. Good tidings to you, Lankles. Thank you for your recent help. Try as I might express gratitude in my words, I cannot do it justice. If there is anything I can do, please stop by the Isle of Ember. I know that someone of my modest means might have little to offer, but I believe I can at least show you the way if you become lost. Sincerely, Astrid. And that's the end of it. Got all that, sir? Then I'm out of here. some valuable information. There is a tiny isle in the middle of the three boulders on the south of this island. It is said that there is a beautiful spring there. It is one of the several isles that are not charted on any map. Keep a vigilant eye while sailing. You'll never know what you find. Now, make note of what I just said. What was it? South of here, right? Yes. South of this isle. Another Ruto crown. Just love how we walk into someone's house and just steal an heirloom, most, most likely just a valuable. You just walk in, you just take it. It's fine. These are on sale, but they're expensive, so I can't afford them yet. I don't have a bomb bag either, which I'm trying to look for. I can do scouting with the boomerang. What? You want to sail to the island up in the northwestern sea? My husband called that place the Isle of Gust. He used to talk about how he had visited that island. My husband was once content to being a fisherman until he left this place. 
He sought uncharted lands, uh, at least that's what he said when he finally left. He refused to work, instead ruining his boat by bravely or braving the northern fog repeatedly. The last time we saw him was over a year ago. My son Romanos, who's at home right now, might know a little more. But that boy hasn't worked in a long time either. He's peeved at his dad, I think. He might get upset if you mention the Isle of Gust. Need something, kid? What, you want to travel to the Isle of Gust? Please don't tell me you're going your own way, too. Own way? Ah, if you don't know, forget I asked. You better off staying put and forgetting that Isle of Gust. No, I'm going my own way. Oh, really? Do it your way? Go your own way? What a bunch of garbage. All this endless babbling about living with a lust for adventure. Can that put food on the table? Can that make your family happy? Going your own way is no way to survive in this life. My way is a lot better. Staying home, eating cheese, that's the life. Yeah, Isle of Gust? Don't say another word about it. Figure it out yourself and get out of here. Okay, so either way he was going to be a dick. Alright, great. Wait, kid, come back. Sorry to unload all that on you, kid. It's just that my dad used to say lots about going his own way to explore. And I got fed up with him. My dad used to talk about getting through the fog and seeing the Isle of Gust. He said something about a specific route for getting through the foggy passage. But only he knew which way to go. There's a cave behind our house where my dad used to escape all the time. He called it his hideaway. You might find more details in there. But it's dangerous in there, so take care of yourself, kid. Staying home and eating cheese sounds like a good plan to you. But... Alright, let, let's just review what he said. He said, um, you know, does that put food on the table? In, in the context of, like, does it make money to be able to survive? It's like, it might not, but staying home and eating cheese, unless you're getting paid for that, like... Isn't that the same thing? Like, it's not really providing for your family either? I mean, if you got paid for it, sure, but what he was saying, his father not putting food on the table, isn't, isn't it worse? <laughs> uh, anyway, hello is it, Twitch, yet? Young man, you mustn't go into that cave. Dangerous monsters. I've been in there lately. Now be a good boy. Don't go anywhere near it. Oh, what? Well, if my son said it's all right, then go on in. There's no stopping you, is there? But please don't do anything dangerous. But cheese? Yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with doing that. As a way to relax, right? But if you're deciding on something to put food on the table... It's like a chicken and an egg thing. To get cheese to put on the table, you need to do something that pays to get said cheese on the table. I don't have bombs, so uh, this is a problem. Oh, no. Okay, there is, there is bombs there. Does that work? I don't think it does. What on earth? How do I... I don't have bombs. Unless they can sell me that now in the shop. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, I mean, let's let's go have a look around. But it looks like I'm, unless I'm complicating it again, I'm gonna go have a look just just in case. But. Yeah. 
yeah, these aren't pushable blocks. And I can't... Unless... Oh. Why didn't it... Why didn't it do that the first time I went across? I just fell in. I don't know what happened there, but... Okay. This is, uh, yep, this is going well. Maybe I should <laughs> let him move. at me. This is kind of annoying. Barely get a hit in. Are you kidding me? I stunned him and still. What is what is the point of that? If I stun him and he still blocks, even though stunned. There we go. Yeah, that was kind of uh, annoying. My journal. I'm writing this while in a private space I call my hideaway. Whenever I'm here, I find myself utterly at peace. And it will stay that way only as long as I know that no one will interrupt me. Now, I do have one more hideaway, and no one will ever find that entrance. It's under the spot... It's under the spot where the lines drawn intersect... It's under the spot where the lines drawn between my stone tablets intersect. It's brilliant, if I do say so myself. Okay. Hey! This must be the place Romano's dad called his hideaway. But I haven't seen any clues about how to get through the foggy passage. Oh. Well, I probably shouldn't have a. Uh... Oh, that was bad. Okay, so tablet one.
What? What? Oh, because I put my finger there. Okay. Little X. necklace okay I mean if this is like Wind Waker it's a trading thing so I gotta find more of them okay there's another tablet okay there's another tablet here There's got to be one more tablet. There, okay. Alright, cool. So... I need to put this down so then that's easier to write on it instead of mid-air. Okay. somewhere here. Okay. I don't know if we'll be correct. Put away items. There we go. Wow. Okay. Got it spot on. I don't have salvage gear yet, so... To my son, here's the only way to sail through the foggy passage. Okay, go here, um... Okay, now I have to do my best to trace it. Apparently going around the island in a circle is required. To my son, Romanus, if you're reading these words, you have found my true hideaway, which means you have also developed the desire to find your own way in life. Know that I'm truly sorry for putting you and your mother through so much. I'm well aware that I am the world's worst father, leaving both you behind. You both behind. There's so much about the ways of the world I don't understand, such as why the ghost ship appears and steals people. Where do its victims go? I have decided to dedicate my life to finding the answers. If I fail to return, please take care of your mother and please forgive me. In closing, one more thing. Embrace your wayfaring ways, my son. Oh, come on. I stabbed it. There's a strange stun sun emblem on that door, Lankles. I wonder if we can open it. Try touching the door. How? Hmm, that didn't work. It's not opening. But there's something about this crest that tickles my memory. Hey, why not draw this emblem on your map so we can remember later on? 
Uh, okay, hang on. Before we do that. Take care of business first. Okay, uh... What does the emblem look like? It's like a sun. So, I guess... Ugh, this is gonna be annoying. I have to put it down. So it's like, you know, we draw a circle... And then... It's... So hard to do this on this touch screen. Undo. Oh, sure. You know what? I, I think we got the gist of it. Sun. Where is it? I guess it would be in the... Oops. I... I can't read that. It's so tiny. I know it's one word. Hide out. I think the problem with this feature is that because you can't rest your palm on the screen to write because it registers that as a touch, that's ultimately the downfall. But otherwise, it's a neat feature that I wish the Wii U version of Wind Waker had, but it didn't, so... Found our way forward, that's the important thing. What, you actually know how to reach the Northern Sea? The route was written on a map, was it? Please tell me you wrote it on our chart. So, uh, did you write it down? How about we shove off then? The fog awaits. Enemy sighted. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Got it. Oof, you got me. Nice shot, but why do you have to shoot me like that? See you around the pond. I forgot what those golden frogs do. I thought you had to shoot them. to trace this over.
without the arrow. Because that would be stupid. <laughs> Tracing the arrow. Okay, I mean, they're in the fog. annoying than threatening. What? No, I got that in time. even hit it in time. Is that another one? I hear another one. I hope that eventually just to get back up here we don't have to go through that. <laughs> Every time. Okay, that's the end of the line. Uh, now we are headed... Oh, crap. I did the wrong thing. We're out. <laughs> there we go. made it through that thought finally. Just look at the sun again. Paraphrasing. I'm not going to attack Mr. Beetle. Well, the problem is there's a fog and I don't want to risk heading north when it could put me back. So no. But hey, Kira. Yeah, we finally made it to the island. But this sure is one gusty island, yep. Surely this has to be the Isle of Gust. So, you little green parrot, how about you go fly off in search of our next spirit? Okay. Isle of Gust, beware of great winds. these things again. I find it interesting that there's new islands, like are they just in a completely different part of the world? Because it's not like this is a whole new time period, really, it's... Yeah. 
You can't. <laughs> I mean, I appreciate the realism. <laughs> Strong wind, don't get blown off. More than usual. I think there's there's a higher risk of uh, blowing myself up. Oh, what? This is just annoying. There we go. <laughs> courage gem. Radiates with courage. But it can't be used like this. I think there's a lot of things this game does really well that should have been in Wind Waker. Like this ability, this right here. You know, just finding maps and then... Copying their contents, right? It's pretty good. Now, I know the GameCube version of Wind Waker couldn't have had it, but the, the Wii U version, it, it's like a perfect candidate for it. So wait, how do we progress? Hang on. Hmm. I guess we have to go where it pointed. There doesn't appear to be anything else I can do here. Leaving? I get you all the way here and now you're stuck or something? With all this wind around, there's gotta be a way forward. Yeah, you little green parrot, go ride the wind and when you feel a breeze at your back. But if you really want to go, wait. So. Ride the wind? I don't know why I just did that. I don't really have anything that rides the wind, though. That's, that's the gimmick to it. Alright, got it. The treasure aspect of this is good. I 
Oh, I was impatient. I should have rolled across or something. Wisdom gem. Okay. Well, I guess it was worth something. Treasure. Unfortunately, I have no way to uh, deal with this yet. I guess this is a one-way thing. Alright, out we go. Get the money! Temple entrance stops gusting when the windmills have had their fill. Um, okay, hold on, there was a map there. The big X at the top. Okay. Couldn't I have made that bigger jump with wind support? Uh, no, because it doesn't affect gravity. You can only make medium jumps with it, not long range ones. Interesting. How? What do you think those are, Lankles? All those spots in the ground look like they were shoveled in with dirt. I mean, I'm guessing the end result is like a paraglider item that we'll be able to just... Oh, I can fill them in. I think that's what it's saying. No wind ever. right so far. More money. I'm getting a little concerned because I'm getting a little too much money. It's a common problem. Hero must blow on the sacred windmills to open a path forward. Okay, so... 
apparently there's one here. Um, hang on, let me just... I'll do circles instead. There's another one here. And one more over here. Okay. Creatures that are sensitive to sound dwell in the sands ahead. Walk without sound. So you have to do... This is... This is purely just to slow you down. What? I'm not moving! What the f I hate this. <laughs> this is one of these obstacles that's just slowing you down for the sake of it. Eat that. Okay, that's a little bit of danger gone. There should be another one here. I think it stopped following me. Okay. chat. I need to blow, I need to blow into the microphone. So, just excuse me. Oh shit, I forgot. We'll be okay. another one here. Wait for it. Okay. 
eat the bomb. Okay, we're here. How? We're finally inside. Looks like we won't escape sudden gusts inside the temple either. Be careful. Okay. <laughs> That's funny is like last time I, I used it. Um this microphone has excellent noise cancellation that you couldn't even hear it a few times. The comedy prop that I did to blow into the microphone. I guess I'm gonna have to turn that back on. No? Okay. back. Oh, knock it off. Sometimes fine control is, is not easy. Just checking. Already? <laughs> okay. One of these is surely a fake. No, just legitimately a treasure room. Just to ride the gust, I'm guessing. Probably in a smarter way than that. There we go. <laughs> it's nice when you don't fall in the pit.
But I gotta say, these these rooms are not that threatening so far. Two wings flutter, the door will swing wide. that what How do I get up on the left side? That doesn't... Am I, am I wrong? That doesn't appear to be a way. Okay, it's from above. Alright. What's this achieving? Hmm. When you're stuck in the wind, you can't move. I feel like the only spot I haven't plucked up is this one. But I, I, again, I question what is what is this? Oh, okay, 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 I see. 
I see. Here's your landing spot. That makes sense. I mean, you know what? I'll do it. Because I have money, and it's gonna go to waste otherwise. There we go. <laughs> Temp of course it's temporary. Joy, this shit again. Pillars of wind rise, the doors will open. Okay, well. Spawn. Yeah, this is this is something. Are you kidding me? Even using the shovel? Even using the shovel triggers that. the mark since I've got it. A bomb. Oh, come on. Dude. Look, I'm just doing what it asked me to do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I'm gonna get, I'm gonna eat shit, but... <laughs> to the closest one. The other one is treasure, which... Eh, eh. <laughs> it's like... It's, it's not a big deal. Making sure like there wasn't a way to already do that. Kind of assumed there wouldn't be. that out of spite. They didn't have to do that. <laughs> Just, I hate those things. Bombs! Finally. I do appreciate that these ones don't light up until you throw them. I just noticed that, like, I can hold them. Wanker. That's that's not cool. Blank faces can hide truth as well as blemished ones. Study the walls carefully. Oh, 
Same hit thing here, I just have to spot it out better. That worked. Interesting. Time at this time. All right, and then this is the boss key. Okay, we're ready. These dungeons are pretty short and sweet. Okay, we have a way back here if we ever need it. Oh, it's a dual screen boss. Um, okay, I'm gonna change the layout, chat. There we go. Careful, that bloated beast can summon cyclones. There we go. Okay, I see. Watch the shadows. I can also hold on to the bomb as long as I want to, so that's excellent. sense that the bombs get lit at the moment you use them. I feel like lighting them just when you want to throw them made more sense. Light them without a plan. <laughs>
Cool fight. Other way around. This way. There we go. More time. Two minutes have been added. I am Neri, the spirit of wisdom. Thank you for slaying that vile monster. Now the seal has been broken and I'm free. Look, Lankles. This time it's the spirit of wisdom, Neri. We came all this way to seek your help. The Ocean King must be up, must be locked up somewhere too. The spirit of power is with you. Of course, I'll help. The spirit of wisdom Neri has joined your group. Find one more spirit to track down the ghost ship. One thing I should have done is start pointing out on maps where there was, um, bombable wall. Yeah, I should probably point that out. Like, put a B to know that the, there's an area that I need to go use a bomb. Unfortunately, I didn't do that, so. I should start noting that with just single letters, like, things that require items. Jeez, that was almost bad. Well, Ankles, you did all right, kid. Looks like you hold in another spirit, eh? To the Temple of the Ocean King, then. Let's set sail. Yes. Banana Island. Okay, let's go to Banana Island. It's gonna be bananas. Sea battles just make way more sense here. <laughs> oh, you got me. Nice shot, but why'd you have to shoot me like that? See you around the pond. But the, I, I still don't know what the... Ugh. 
I'm gonna keep shooting them. Until I know what to do with them. Welcome to Banan Island. I'll just figure out a good way to play this. Hang on. Yeah, maybe. No, I think I still need to look at the bottom screen. I was looking at the PC capture, but it's still like I don't know where I'm tapping. Anyway. You can't read it from here because you need to face forward. The Wayfaring Island. Only those with the power to shadow rock will find the path to a new game. Oh, it's a good thing I have that power. That looks awfully suspicious. Okay, well, I tried. Oh, this guy. So, you're going to play or what? It's 20 rupees a game for kids. Sure. Oh uh, yeah, uh, let's see. <laughs> ah, this is a game of skill that takes place on the last stage of the Autumn Sea. Leap on board, prepare to set sail and raise anchor. On the horizon looms a blue target. Man the cannon, take aim and kaboom! Yeah. Uh, splash, bang, kaboom. You obliterate the target, earning 100 points. Suddenly, a red target sails into view. It fears nothing, for it can't be broken. Every time you pound it with cannon fire, you earn 20 points. Blah pow. Yeah, so did you get all that or what? Record is... Okay, good luck. Alright, alright. Here we go.
Ooh, I did not do well. Okay, could have done better. Let's do it again. Even the prize is random, that's a bit of a letdown, but okay. Making sure there's nothing on the other side. Okay, I mean I beat it, so. And hold there. What? 2740 points? That's unheard of. You get a prize for cannon excellence. Bomb bag. You can carry more bombs. Okay, hang on. Let me just check this game. Uh, Phantom Hourglass Cannon game. I just want to see what the rewards are. Rupees of varying and ship parts can also be won with, with the cannon game. Okay, so you can upgrade your ship, but I mean... Do I want to do this now? I don't know. It's, it's like a random chance. You beat your record, you qualify for this bonus prize. <laughs> so I get my money back. Okay, oh, okay, 20 rupees a- no, we're good. Hold on, what's this? There's something here. Okay, noted. Uh, let's write this down. I'm gonna do a P for post. This is what this is what I need to be doing. There we go. <laughs> it looks like there's more to it. I can't see beyond that, but I would imagine once I get there, um, we can figure it out. I got a bomb refill when I got the bag. That's fine. Okay. Uh, 
Ah, this is the place for those who hunger for the romance of adventure. This is the Wayfaring Island, young man. Ha <laughs> ha. So go on and tell me. Did you find it? It? Uh, hey now. You can tell me. There are no secrets between men of adventure. You came to this distant island in search of the elusive beast. The mystical creature that bewitches sailors from the waters of this island. You came in search of the mythical mermaid, right? Huh? What? Wayfarers must always be looking for adventure. In my search for the mystical creature, the mermaid, I sacrificed many of life's pleasures. Family, friends, good snacks. I gave it all to search up for the mermaid. That's where the majestic creature will lounge once I capture her. This pool cost a hefty fortune for a man who follows his wayfaring heart. You are young with age. I have learned to approach life's quests with passion. So, young man, if you see a mermaid, won't you tell me right away? We men of adventure must stick together. Just think about the premise of this. This dirty old man left his family. Because he said family. <laughs> to pursue a mermaid and put her in a pool here. Look, look in the background, there's, there's clearly a picture of his family there. Like, look, yeah. I don't know if that's a child or what, but... I don't know. So how can you give up snacks? You can just bring the snacks with you. Okay, um, another one. P for posts. It's the weird little islands like this that have the treasure. Wanna set sail, kid? Yes. He was looking from a, for a different kind of snack. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> the one with two C's instead of a CK. Um, okay, so hang on. What is this boat? Traveler ship. Let's see what this is. I haven't... I don't remember. I've played this before, but it's like another one of these games that enough time has passed that I don't remember. Didn't realize they were spelled differently. I mean... They are, but like, still, it's wordplay either way. Want to board the ship, Lankles? Yes. Hmm? Say, I can't help but notice you're dressed exactly like me. Are you a fan of mine? Ha 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 ha! Don't get me wrong, it doesn't surprise me in the least to meet a fan. I travel the world on my Prince of Red Lion ship to save all things from evil. Yes, you heard me right, I'm what you would call a hero. So, do you want my autograph? Oh no, I'm afraid I've run out of autograph paper, so very sorry. I know, this can't take the place of my autograph, but, well, based on the way you dress, I'm sure you're quite an admirer. Don't worry, I understand. I'll make you my apprentice. A hero's apprentice. What more could a fan hope for? Lots. Very good. It's decided then. What's your name, kid? Lankles, huh? Lankles, you are now a hero's apprentice. 
Study and learn the dashing ways of the hero and remember to stay cool. Link outfit lore. <laughs> I mean, the, that was already in Wind Waker. It was like the outfit that they put on kids that come of age to celebrate their coming of age. Say, my faithful apprentice, Lankles. Want me to train you in the arts of swordsmanship? Yes. Very well. You and I will meet in battle. I'll check how much skill you have. Hacha! Come at me with your finest moves, my young apprentice. Oh, no. Owie. I went too easy on you, but let's fight again. One, two, what well, that? That's it. Ah, ha, ha. Let's leave it at that for the day. Your skills will never. Imp oh no. This is. This is this is like the inverse. It's this it's this game where I have to hit him without. You can't best his three hits. What? I guess I need to come back. So this is this is exactly like like the training game in Wind Waker, except it seems to be a joke where I have to try and not tire him out. So I have to bad now. Wait, be patient. Go back. Be patient. Go back. Wait. Be patient. This is so annoying, but okay. <laughs> That's it. Stop. What is this? Half hero. Okay. What? What is this? I'm gonna do it one more time and then I'm gonna look it up. Like, what? What, what is this? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I shot the cannon. Okay, again. Yes! Okay. I just have to be careful not to, not to actually hurt him. What is- what is this dude's deal? Okay, hang on. <laughs> I'm finding out what this is. Hero Apprentice game. What is the hero's challenge? Okay, self-proclaimed hero. Right, but how, did, how the heck does this work? The secret is to hit him if, with your shield and run into him. Okay, so hang on. The self-proclaimed hero claims to be a proficient swordman, and Link can spar with him for various rewards. Initially, he will... Yield only after a few hits, but once he gets serious, Link must successfully land a hundred hits. So, and it says initially he will yield only after a few hits. So, which means if I, I guess, keep coming back, eventually he gets serious. Interesting. Oh, oh no, no, wait, this is serious now, look. 
One, two, three. No, there we go. There we go. Okay, now it's actually now it's for real. Okay, now it's real. Only 22 times. All right, all right. Go again. There we go. All right, now he's taking it serious. Now I can... Oh. This is much better than Wind Waker's one. Oh, dick. Okay. This is much better than Wind Waker's one. God, the sapping on this is, is so annoying. Oh. Okay, there we go. Just needed to get to 100. <laughs> I'm making him stronger until he becomes invincible. No, we're done. 102 hits, remarkable. I'm impressed with your skills. Rather exhausted, actually. Yeah, put your hand up. A whole heart container. That's a gift in honor of the sweat and tears you shed in battle. Nothing big, but it might come in handy later. This is good. Now, I need to do it again. I mean, I don't have to, but I, I probably should. The advice about the shield is definitely good. Shit. I got stuck in a corner. 69! <laughs> okay. No, no. Ugh. Shit. Oh my god.
damn it. I kind of wish, like, they were insistent on making the controls all around touch. But man, being able to block with the shield with a button, like even the trigger, would have been so good. This is just one of these things where it's like... Gimmick over usability. Her crown. Alright, that's it. Alright. We're done with that. Go to the southwestern sea. We'll see if we can get the uh the salvage part now. a quick stop here. I want to map out certain things that I missed on the island. So posts and that sort of thing we, we need to map out. I keep forgetting that I did that. I'll erase it. In the interest of uh, usability for this map. Okay. Let's have a look around. There is a high ground, but I guess we'll see. I'm also checking the beaches for uh, spots that we can potentially dig up.
I don't think there's anything up this way, but I'll check. Like, this is just the initial... Eh, I'll run through it. It doesn't take long. idea how you get over there, but let's just, um, right, so we're using treasure, there's, there's a chest here, just so we know, oh, I get the feeling, I don't want to hit the chicken, I want to pick it up. I don't think you can, though. I think... I was like, oh, wait a minute, can I pick up a chicken and go across? Oh, I can. Oh! I think, I think that was it. I just, I think I messed it up. Let's go, it worked. Not worth it, <laughs> but it worked. I haven't done that, so let's just do that. I mean, I am, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was like a, a loop. It's okay. I had 900 rupees. Like, what else was I going to do with that? you destroy a bomb, that's interesting. I wonder if I can get across there with the chicken. I know, but I guess the chicken doesn't come with me through maps. At least I don't think so. I mean, let's try. Chicken!
Let's see if it stays with me. It doesn't, okay. I figured, because it's not a screen transition, it's a load. Oh, it is, okay. Doesn't oh wait, here we go. I mean, this is why we needed to come anyway, but... If we could do whatever else was around. Three fallen adventurers slumber forever within the Temple of the Ocean King. They have fallen, but you can seek their advice on how to survive the temple. But I'll, I'll mark the cave with an A. So I know to come back later. Alright, uh, A. Now the question is, do we get the fast travel? I guess not. I think I have to do all of this again. The doors should be just open though. I have to do this again? I mean, I guess this time there's a shortcut. But, but that's... Mm, <laughs> I don't remember this. Uh, I mean, it's not too bad. It's just... I wish it would just let me go straight to where I... I got up to. Like, having to repeat... See, now this makes sense now. No, boomerang. Oh, wait. What am I doing here then? same as before. Excuse me. <laughs> now I need to get it away. Yeah. 
You ain't seeing anything here. Okay, there we go. It's okay, that one won't get me. Although, hang on, before I... What is this on the left? Alright, let's... Hey, come back down. This is, this is weird. Oh no, right, this shit. Having to redo this. I think that's why they extend the Phantom Hourglass. the shovel to not have to do that, but I don't know. Honestly, it's the same thing. It doesn't really offer me that much of a shortcut. One more... There's also something to the side here as well. Oh, it's just more time. I, which, I, I guess. made it to the door. It's the Spirit of Wisdom's turn this time. Oh, leave it to me. This is the Door of Wisdom. I will use my powers to open it. Are you ready? Yeah, before I, I forget. Wait. Oh. Could I have- was there a blue portal that I didn't notice? It's, it's quite possible that there was a blue portal that I didn't notice. Okay, whatever. I mean, I got something, I think. Ow! Ew, I have all monsters. 
Allow me to explain. Those are phantom eyes. They act as extra eyes for the phantoms. If one sees you... Yeah, what happens if one sees you? The phantoms will find you, and then it only gets worse, so be cautious. However, unlike phantoms, these creatures can be defeated. Find them on the map. I get it. So you have to find a way to hit them before they see you. Come on, let's get going to a safe zone. Can it reach that far? No. Okay, I see how I see how it gets worse. Oh, I'm screwed. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, it's fine. Just not ideal anymore. <laughs> I've made things signif significantly worse for myself. Oh, it doesn't go over the spikes. Is this even doable anymore? Or have I just... Yeah. What happens if I go up and come back down? Does it reset it? Mm, no. No, it does not. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, this sucks. This is, this is disgusting. <laughs> this is what I get for not, uh, obeying stealth. How am I supposed to do this? Okay, this one comes down here now. Oh, this is annoying. Am I just screwed now? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Okay, maybe not. Maybe now I'm okay. Oh, lucky, 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 lucky. Into the corner. Thank you. 
They're out of sync now, so that's good. Go about your business. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Is it, oh, is it on top? It's on top. No wonder I can't get it. Well, I mean, I'll, um, I'm quicker. But there's still the top left corner. Hmm. Alright, well. Where are we? Extra 30 seconds on the clock, much appreciated. Oh, 15, never mind. That was probably what was on the previous floor. Okay, hang on. I'm sorry, but like this is gonna bother me if I don't check. No, whatever that is, it's like a hole that I'm able to get through. Okay. Um, content. I think it was worth taking the time just to be sure. Wait, what's this? Did I just get the 30 seconds back that I spent? I think I just did.
doesn't look like there's anything I can do. Okay, I need to take this a bit more serious now. I need to not let this this thing summon something else. That's a catastrophe if it does. There are four stone tablets that govern the crest. It came from the, the right-hand side. Oh, it's circling there now. I was kind of hoping it'd cross back over, but I don't think it will. I wonder. Don't worry. Wait, where'd it go? Oh no, there it is. <laughs> Where'd it go? Hi, miss! Okay, hang on. I need to nail this thing. Don't panic, I'm okay. Wait, why did that work? Before you lies the third tablet governing the crest. Before you lies the cursed tablet, it brings ruin upon those who gaze shit. Oh, come on. Don't worry, don't worry, I am fine. I have four minutes before my life starts getting drained, so... No pressure. Hey, Cookie, what's up? This <laughs> floor is so tedious. Okay. That. Please don't be cursed tablet. I will be upset if this is cursed tablet. Fourth tablet. Okay. Temple's the reason you haven't finished the game. Really? Just this? I guess if you're not good at stealth, like, I can understand. 
I'm not one for stealth either. Don't worry about this. We're okay. That's gone now, so... Makes my life easier. What, 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 what do you mean? Oh, this is, this is timed. There we go. The sacred crest both begins and ends with me. Discover the crest in the way. How? I wonder what shape the sacred crest is. Are you taking notes? There are four tablets, so. <laughs> this is one and five. Don't touch that one. This is three. This is four. That was a really, really bad four. so hard to write because I can't rest my palm on the DS. I don't even need that, really. Like, it's already process of elimination, so... Like... I mean, just for future's, future reference, this is two. Okay. So. One. Two. Wait, that wasn't it. Let me read what this one says. Unless... In a single stroke, draw... Oh. Okay. time. This is the sun symbol. Press the sacred crest against the C chart to transfer it. Okay, so this... This was something that when I played it for the first time, it was super confusing chat. But do you want, do you want to know what it is? The Temple of Courage will open... You, some of you will know this. The C chart, you open... Not that one. That one. 
And then you do this. Close the DS. Open it. <laughs> Help! Well, wow, Ankles, you figured out what it meant by pressing them together. You love this puzzle? I hated it. The first time I played this, I, I will say I spent long than I would like to admit trying to figure out what the heck it meant. To the point where I closed my DS, I went and got some food, and then when I came back and opened it, it was like, Congratulations! <laughs> oh dear. Anyway. In the middle of the sea, is there a key? I hate to say it, but maybe we should outline back for what he thinks. <laughs> On the virtual console, you have to open the menu and close it. Interesting. Am I saying that I solved the puzzle by going AFK? You know what, Kira? It's not the first time that's happened. When I was playing, when I was playing the, uh, the Zelda 2 PC remake thing, right? There was a part where I wanted to look something up, so I was standing still, and I kept, like, I kept running into battle. So I was tabbing back and forth, back and forth, and then, by accident, I pressed the hammer button and it revealed a new secret that let me turn into a chicken permanently. So, yeah. <laughs> Can't remember if you ever figured it out. I think that's the thing is like if you if you got stuck and you left it there and then out of frustration you just went and took a break you figured it out but you can't write on this map. I mean, you could look it up, right? Like, a... surely. <laughs> I didn't look it up. I just found it out by accident. Anyway. It's funny because it's not the only time something like that has happened to me. You are a child? I mean... Okay, I look back to when I was a kid. I used to... When we used to go to the supermarket, I used to always open up the video game magazines and open them up. And skip to the part where they had, like, hints about games. I took- <laughs> I took that initiative every time. Cause the difference between doing that and not doing that was just like, you'd get stuck on an obscure puzzle if you ever played that game. Big brain? Nah. I don't know. I don't think you give kids enough credit, like, they can figure out stuff. I mean, I think I was seven and figured out how to get the golden sword and a link to the past and my older cousin never did. Sometimes I give kids too much credit. Not at all. <laughs> Special delivery, watch out, incoming. This is a letter from Edo of Cannon Island. Ahem. Ready for this? The salvaging arm got some very, very big news. Been working on a salvage arm for a long time, but now it's ready. This gorgeous piece of machinery lets ship pull treasure from the seafloor. Okay. And that's the end of it. Got it, sir, then I'm out of here. Well, it wasn't a weapon, a sword made out of gold. It was a sword that had a golden glow to it because it was imbued with magic. There's a difference. No. I just got a letter, thank you. Oh, well, look what the crab dragged in. Get that third sea chart yet? We found the secret map that we transferred to the southwestern map. We found out that the Temple of Courage will open this with a sun key. 
I bet that new mark on our chart reveals a spot that's essential to our quest. I see, and seeing it is believing. It's time for you to believe all Linebeck. I say we go there. We're bound to something. So let's set off. Okay, go now. That doesn't change the fact that it confused kids into thinking a golden sword would actually be good. But it didn't confuse me, like I understood it was like, kind of like the light magic. I didn't, I didn't think of it as a sword that was golden, I think of it... I thought of it as a sword that was imbued with light. I mean, maybe I'm the only one, but you know, the, it is a theme in Zelda games where... You kind of fire magical weapons, like the light arrows. remember if there was anything else of significance on this island. I don't think there was. I think this is just a path that goes around. I don't think I need to do this anymore. Let me see. I will say, though... I think as far as something that's simple, but a lot of people didn't figure out, this has to be one of the, the biggest ones where, you know, closing the DS transfers it over. Like, I don't think it was as intuitive as they thought it would have been. The same with having to blow into the mic. It, it has to tell you, you know. Yes, yes, it's finally complete. The salvage arm will let you reach the bottom of the sea for sunken treasure. What? Aren't you the shrimplet who bought the cannon from me? And now you want the salvage arm? Did you come racing over here after getting one of my letters? Heh <laughs> you dropped everything to rush here for my invention. You're a real fan of my work, aren't you? Yeah. Heh <laughs> butter me up all you want, but it's gonna cost you big time. So show me how much you want. Right, so again, the game is like, shout with some gusto. Want to salvage arm? Then make your voice ring out loud and clear. I will decide your price based on that. Okay. I'm ready. I'm gonna shout, chat. Okay, go! What? What was that? I didn't hear anything. What do you mean you didn't hear anything? <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> what do you mean you didn't hear any? How did that not register us? All right, I think I have to. I have to like make it make it simulate a voice. Hold up. <laughs> that's gusto for that scream? Well, I'll sell this- <laughs> ah. <laughs> Okay, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. I got this chat. I- I ref- I refuse to scream, so I- I got- I got a better idea. Give me a sec. Okay, uh, just give me a sec. I'm re I'm ready. All right, I'm ready this time. Okay. First. L <laughs> okay, I'm ready.
What was that? I didn't hear anything. Oh, what do you mean? Really? Give me the fucking job! <laughs> Not bad for that. Well, scream. I'll sell you the arm for 300 rupees. Yes, give me, give me the arm. <laughs> I tried, chat. I really tried. Still walking around with a bunch of rupees, eh? Doesn't surprise me. Take it. <laughs> Acquired. Hopefully, uh, the the compressor for my microphone kicked in, and that was that wasn't like something that shattered your eardrums. I probably should have uh, given a warning, <laughs> but uh, sorry, headphone users, if, if uh, I've I've killed your sense of hearing. My bad. <laughs> uh. Okay. Yeah, so uh, I have the salvage arm now. It wasn't loud. Good. This microphone is doing its work. Honestly. It's probably the best upgrade I've made for the stream. Nothing but quality. Doesn't pick up soft noises and it compresses loud noises. It is fantastic. But it did sound like I was screaming, right? <laughs> some some neighbor's probably gonna like knock on the door and just wonder what's going on. Um, we're going to the southern island. There's things to do on the Isle of Ember, probably. Was is that frog? Oh no! Whoops. I looked at the I looked away for a sec. I forgot that I have to pay attention. Yeah, the other thing is, you know, there are certain people that like to watch the stream late at night, and they do end up falling asleep. <laughs> so, shit. Uh, yeah. Neighbor already understands that I'm playing Phantom Hourglass, huh? Should probably save. Can I- can I jump across that? It almost seems like I can. Okay, if, if it wasn't for that... <laughs> I think I can't get across. Alright, uh... So... Let me change that to an X. And I'll change these to just dots. I know that. I'll use excess for treasure and dots for like points of interest. Okay. I don't think there's anything else to do on this island, but I just want to be certain. Like, there's no posts or anything. The thing that I never figured out in the Zelda game that I played as a kid, the first one, 
was how to find Castle 7. Never figured it out. It wasn't until I played the game as a teenager, years later, that I found it out by mistake. And then I finished the game. But as a kid, I would always play the game and get up to where I had done all the other castles and then just spend the rest of my time trying to find this elusive castle. Never found it. Wait a minute, wasn't the... if I'm remembering correctly... hold on. Yeah, this. Can't roll into it. I would assume you need strength. There's definitely something to this. Um... I'll mark it, so I remember. Um, I'll put the word STR. I'll draw a diagram. Hold on. Now, <laughs> false alarm. All right. I thought maybe there'd be something going on, but there's not. Has fate clouded your course? No. Okay, we're okay. Okay, then I think I'm I'm up to date. Yes. What game am I up to? Uh, Phantom Hourglass. It's the DS one. Alright, I'm gonna go dig up that treasure. I can put this down for a minute. Ah! <laughs> I pressed it too late. That was an awkward angle. Frog! Got him. You got me! Nice shot, but why'd you have to shoot me like that? See around the pond. I still don't know. I don't remember the significance of the frogs, but I'm shooting every single one I see on site. <laughs> That's pretty much there to make sure that you can't just not look at the screen and just wait. It gives you something to do. Salvage. Oh! Alright, kid. I'll tell you how, about how to use the salvage arm. All kinds of treasure rest at the bottom of the sea. Use the salvage arm to pull that treasure up. See the bar controlling the arm at the bottom screen? Tap and drag this to move this arm underwater. Move it up or down to adjust how fast it moves. But there are octomines that explode if you touch them.
Another improvement over Wind Waker. Oh. I think this is why the DS was so great, honestly. What are you doing, kid? Shit, I got greedy. You're breaking the salvage on. I got greedy. I was trying to get it all. Oh, they have to. <laughs> we have to go back. At least the way back up is not as treacherous. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. <sighs> Sand of hours. One minute is added. <laughs> Just. Consider how um, conceptually weird that is. Someone buried a treasure chest and locked up a bunch of sand in it. Alright, I'm gonna go for the other one. Beetle ship, sure, why not? Let's see. Um, a bomb bag. A thou oh no, I can't. I don't have a thousand. That's a lot. A treasure map? No, it's a ship part, okay. All right, I'll keep that in mind. It's either you can carry up to a thousand, or I guess there's no hard limit, which would be nice. I think I collided with the ship instead of... I didn't route to it, I just collided with it by coincidence. I think eventually you do get something that lets you sail quicker, but for the time being we're on our basic boat. I hear a frog. Where is frog? Hmm, weird.
Oh. We're rescuing someone. Play dead, play dead. Go away. Away from me. How annoying. Hey, what? Oh, what? The bad guys left long ago? Yeah. Nothing, something, something. <laughs> Say, I don't think we've met before. I'm part of the Maritime Defense Force. My name's... Is, like... Naive? Like, naive? <laughs> Nyave! Yep, yep, I patrol these waters in order to keep the peace. I'm a peacekeeper. It's nice to meet you. Um, here, this is for helping me out. Okay. Are you happy? You're happy, right? <laughs> there isn't a person alive who isn't happy to get a present. I became a peacekeeper to be more like my brother. I mean, he's a hero. Oh, wait. So, you've met him? If you could find him, maybe you could find my guard notebook, too. My big brother, a great hero up north. And me, a wanderer of the seas, always hunting for my guard notebook. You've got to admit, we're both pretty interesting in our own ways. Okay. I guess later? All right, but that's not why I was here for. Yeah. I think the ship's in the way. <laughs> it's okay. for a single rupee. I just noticed that the, the salvage arm is still... still damaged. What do you mean, miss? How far am I, am I into this? Uh, two dungeons. I don't know. I can't remember how far that is. But this one's not a very long one compared to the the previous entries because it's on a handheld, so. Oh, that's annoying. I'm gonna have to go repair this. so many mines. I mean, I guess, if you look at the background, they're not even mines, they're I guess sea creatures that explode. If this was... Oh, fuck's sake. The, there's like sway to it. I need to go fix the arm. How does the chain avoid them? <laughs> yes. Is the answer to that.
Alright, I'll just get it repaired and then we'll head to the other the other thing that I'm meant to be doing. Uh, well, that thing kind of came out of nowhere, so I wouldn't say asleep at the wheel. Am I going to have to scream into the mic again to get it fixed? Like, am I going to say how badly I want my, my salvage arm fixed? On the bright side, I'm <laughs> making money. So, hopefully this isn't going to cost me too much, but I get the feeling it will. It's either going to be like 50, so 250 all up, or it's going to be 500 all up. I don't know. Okay. Watch, watch the guilt trip. If you go break the salvage arm, took it to McKay on sal- oh, crap. So let me get this straight. You sell it, but you don't service it. Because you don't want to deal with warranty, okay. It's not that far away, so... I suppose it's, it's, it's not really their fault, like I, I did break it myself. <laughs> I should just look up what those frogs do. I don't know. Maybe it's a case that I should salvage where they are. Mark where the frogs are and then just salvage. They're probably indicating something special. Anyway. Here. Okay. You busted your salvage arm. Unusable, that thing. A hundred. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, that's fine. A hundred's fine. It's uh, 20 per damage instant, so that's not bad. I was expecting more. Okay, well, let's just go here. Um, potentially, if there's nothing here, I think I need to go to the leftmost island, because that's where the sun symbol was. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> I was looking at the other screen. I gotta stop doing that. Okay, so we're here. We made it to exactly where the crest is, but there's nothing here. Nothing to look like. Just a bunch of sea. Well, maybe there's something at the bottom. Oh, okay. So, 
Yeah, I guess I needed this. All right, let's go. Not, not worth it. That's, that's not, that's not gonna, that's not going to pay for the repairs that I have to make if I take that hit. Also, how are they sit? You know, how are, how are we able to see what's ha what's happening? It would imply there's, there's some sort of camera mounted to the arm. Like a second arm that has a camera, so you can see the first arm. And they both descend at the same time. The sun key! It's the same shape as the crest that you saw. Heh. <laughs> Strange looking key you got there. It's shaped like the sun. Wonder what that's supposed to mean, kid. Yeah, well, we know what that means. salvage the other one. I think I'll leave it. I shot a seagull. Uh, oh. I mean, it's kind of the same as Wind Waker. What? What is this? What? The weak spot is... Well, I guess if we knew, we wouldn't be in the stew. But the weak spot's gotta be somewhere on his body. Okay. How's this thing not dead yet? Yeah, going around in a circle. About time!
don't even get anything for it. Let's just stay here. Oh yeah, right, the island's south of here, okay. We'll do that later. Sun in the hideout, okay. Which is here. side of the island. Osha's home has a storehouse. That storehouse has a tree outside. And it's root digger buried. Okay, dig outside the house. Um... So let's put a letter P for post. There we go. What on earth is this thing? Oh, it drew a line. Uh oh. section of the lines. Hmm. Okay. I wonder if I maybe have to take out... Maybe I have to take out these. What? Oh, because I'm high ground. Oh, there's another one. How would I get that one? I thought the boomerang would do it, but... Oh no, it does work. Okay. Just needs to be hit in a specific spot. Wait, can I touch these? Because this one seems to be aimed... Uh, I think maybe these need to be rotated or something. Aha! No. Okay, there we go.
at the temple, but we're going to save that for tomorrow. Yay, because I want to play Metroid a bit, so. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying the playthrough of this so far. It, it's been a lot of fun revisiting this one after all these years. But uh, yeah, we'll continue it tomorrow. Uh, just give me two minutes-ish. I just need to set up the switch, so. We'll do a bit of Metroid the rest of the evening. Get yourself a snack or something, and I'll be back shortly. But if you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for tuning in as always. Alright, see ya, YouTube.